And we're going to tell you all about the fun things going on on and off the slope. So even though it's not a holiday weekend, we're going to have some pretty good weather, especially if you like maybe hanging out on a nice sunny deck, enjoying some music or a nice little drink. So we're going to get to all of that. I'm going to let you know what's happening with uh, Vail Yeti Hockey. We also have a Taylor Swift night going on. So plenty of fun things happening. So stick with us. Bell Valley Live starts right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson coming to you live on this Friday, January 26th. And this show will take you through Saturday and Sunday, sort of our weekend edition to let you know what's happening on and off the slopes. But we've got a lot of things to fill you in on and uh, pretty good weather also for this weekend as well. We've had some cloudy skies this week, but we're gonna change that. But uh, thanks so much for watching us this morning. Uh, we wanna remind you that once again, we do come to you live on Mondays for our Monday through Thursday show. And then on Friday, that acts as our weekend edition. And you can watch us on YouTube. You can watch us on Facebook as well. Just type in Bill Valley Live, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. And uh, thank you so much to some of our lawyer, loyal viewers. Paul from the UK, he's already moved on. He was visiting here in January. Now he's over in Florida before he travels back across the pond. LA, great to see you. I know that you've been enjoying the slopes and the Colorado kid even extended his vacation by two more weeks after we got all that powder <laughs> two weeks ago. But uh, Ty Diaz had a chance to run into some longtime fans. He was over at uh, Nozawa where he works and um, Steve and Steve and Craig and Judd, they come up to him and said, hey buddy, we've been watching you doing the weather for years. So uh, we thought we'd say hello to them this morning. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, yeah, make Ty work hard. Make him sling some more drinks over at Nozawa. Go in and say hello. But let's give you some details on what you can expect with the weather. So we're gonna see uh, maybe a 40% chance of snow on Friday, according to the National Weather Service. And then basically sunshine for your Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna see warmer temperatures as well. And we'll see those temperatures reach into the upper 30s, even the 40s, especially as we roll into next week. And then overnight lows down back into the teens and 12s, and maybe even single digits, depending on where you are. When we get those clear, clear skies, a lot of times those temperatures drop once that sun goes down. But uh, this weather report brought to you by the outlets at Silverthorne, Elevated Savings. And if you haven't been over there yet, got a lot of great deals to kick off the new year. And whether you're looking for, you know, maybe some warm weather gear for the slopes from like Columbia, or maybe you're already thinking about spring or spring break and you're going on a vacation or maybe you're just heading out right now and you're going to the beach, they can help you with some of those great fashions. But a few more things that we have coming up on the show today. 
We're going to let you know about what the weekend picks are, what's happening this weekend. And so we'll give you some details on what you can do with the kiddos, what you can do for fun nightlife, some dining experiences. So all that is going to be coming up in this next half hour. So we're going to take it to a little break. We're going to let you know a little bit more about what's happening at the Outlets of Silver Thorn with Peggy Ziegler. Hi, I'm Peggy Ziglin, fashion guru and stylist for the Atlas at Silverthorne. I'm here to share with you one of our best amazing stores, the William Sonoma Outlet. Wow, it's at 145 Stevens Way, right at the Atlas at Silverthorne. Everything you ever dreamed of is in this store, just like the retail stores, only this is Outlet. I suggest go shop in the back as well, clearance. I certainly did. I've got all of my shopping done. 145 Stevens Way, William Sonoma Outlet. It's for you, Atlas at Silverthorne. See you soon. It's all about Coach today at the Atlas at Castle Rock and Silverthorne. Plus, 2023 summer vibes, looks, wardrobe, handbags, all dropped. They're all in. Everything from $30 keychains to $350 canvas tote bags, backpacks, wearables, bucket hats, everything up to 70% off every day. It's absolutely, positively fabulous and worth that drive. Welcome back to Vale Valley Live. I've moved locations here. We're just waiting for the mountain to open up at 8.30. 8.30 is when the start time is at Vale and Beaver Creek. Vale closes at 3.30 with Blue Sky Basin and the Back Bowls closing just a little bit earlier than that. And then Beaver Creek closes at four with Centennial Lift and Strawberry Park, kind of the main mountain, but Arrowhead, Batcher Gulch, those areas close at 3.30. So plan your afternoon accordingly, uh, but get out here. We're loading up the employees right now and uh, yeah, lots of smiles. A lot of people just kind of waiting by the fire pits to stay warm before they make their morning commute. But let's find out what's making headlines in the Vale Daily this week. Lots of different conversations happening and uh, one hot topic right now, well, ski racing. And apparently Michaela Schifrin crashes at the World Cup in Cortina in Italy. So it's a left leg injury. She was doing a downhill and was only 17 seconds in when she uh, when this happened but she is heading over to, she was taken over by ambulance to the hospital and they're gonna see what, what's happening. Maybe with the, the ACL, PCL, they were looking at those. And um, so that's uh, the breaking news at the Veil vale Daily for right now. Also, another top story is um, a new Apple TV show has ties to a woman from Eagle, and Egan, Annie Egan. Um, and the Masters of Air, you can find out about that. Really cool, uh, you know, kind of war movie and, and just a neat, neat series that that is being shown. And then also what's going on this weekend, whether it's dance theater, we've got the Avalanche Dogs coming, we've got the weekend calendar all ready for you so you can plan your weekend. Also prep sports, we're making sure that you know about what's happening with the, the youth in our valley with all that and then also you can um, check out some of the different things going on with wolves. That's been a big topic this year. So go to veildaily.com 
You can check out all these stories online, archive stories online, or you can actually read the paper in their e-edition and you can see it page by page and keep in touch with the Valley that way. But a few other things happening. I want to remind you that the 17th annual Vail Winterfest is going on. Now that is a display of ice right along Gore Creek, the Gore Creek Promenade, right next to Mountain Standard and below the El Segundo deck and the new Archetype Distillery. So head on over there, and this was done by Alpine Ice. 25,000 pounds of ice was carved to create these wonderful illusions. It's called Visage, and it's lit up from dusk until 10. And of course, it's on display all day. And this display will probably last a few more weeks with the cooler temperatures that we've had. So check that out. And then, hey, Vail Yeti Hockey returns. They've got another home game. They've had so many home games this winter. It's been great to be able to, week after week, support the guys on the ice. And look at those crowds. People love this. And if you get your tickets in advance, you can even get season passes. Tickets in advance online are just 10 bucks. And then at the door, they're 15. So it's a good thing to plan ahead, get your friends rallied together and head on out for that. But they're playing the Boulder Bison. So Friday and Saturday, the puck will drop, oh, probably about eight o'clock. But doors open at seven. They start doing their on ice drills right around 7.30, the national anthem and all the hoopla is gonna be happening over at the Dobson Ice Arena, which is on the bus route, real easy to get to, or park on the eastern edge of the Lion's Head parking structure, and it's just a short walk all the way down there. Otherwise, lots of live music around. It's Friday, Friday. Throughout the weekend, we're gonna have plenty of opera ski tunes that you can either sing along to or dance to. Maddie G is gonna be over at the Hythe, which is the Vail Mountain Marriott, and he'll be playing on Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. And then at the new Gambit Bar, this is inside the Sebastian. Our good friend John D'Angelo is, uh, is managing the Sebastian right now, and he's got a great team at the Gambit serving up some very creative drinks. Now, I would recommend getting the Carrington Club, a great little tequila drink, but they've got live music seven days days a week. Now for your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to have Kevin Danzig and the Ganny Dancers 5.30 to 8.30 on Friday. Then Saturday, Rob Eden Jr. I was just there last Saturday and Rob, just such a talented musician, solo artist, 4.30 to 7.30. And then Andy Seifert. Andy Seifert has won the best of the Vail Valley Opry Ski Singer Contest many years in a row. He'll be playing from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Gambit, which is once again inside the Sebastian. And I'm pretty sure if you go there and you park and you just say, hey, we're going in for drinks and some dinner, they probably have complimentary valet parking. Just remember to tip your valet when you're done. And then at Chasing Rabbits, so we've got some fun things going on for you if you're looking for a little bit of nightlife action. Chasing Rabbits is basically like three nightclubs and a restaurant all under one roof. I think it's 13,000 square feet. But Fridays, we're going to have DJ way up high starting to play at 10 p.m., going all the way till 1 in the morning. Uh, ticket prices kind of anywhere from 15 to 25 and uh, this is just going to be a really cool way to just kind of round out your weekend. You know, first chair, last call, that really is a testament to how much stamina you have in a ski town. And then on Saturday, it is a Taylor Swift night. So this is gonna be a fun thing. What they're doing first is they're gonna have something available for the younger set. So from five until 9 p.m., the teens and tweens can come over to Chasing Rabbits, bracelet exchanges, costumes are encouraged, fun little drinks, and then later on, from 9 to 1 a.m. That'll be for those 21 and older. So get your groove on with Taylor Swift, get those hearts out and, and have a lot of fun at this. This would be down at the rabbit hole. So uh, it's something great that maybe you can participate in and maybe the whole family could get out there and dancing. I know you guys, you guys out there, you do like your Taylor Swift. And then Justin Allison is playing over at Beaver Creek here at the Grouse Mountain Grill. Grouse Mountain Grill, a wonderful restaurant, especially for special occasions, just a beautiful setting inside the Pines Lodge. But Justin Allison plays everything from jazz to kind of some Brazilian 
uh, and and beyond. And you know, he is a great guitarist, singer as well. He'll be playing 6.30 to 9 o'clock. And you could go in there. You could even sit in the bar. It, it gets, you know, it's a small bar. So maybe get there early to get a seat if you don't have dinner reservations. And then we have tons of comedy. It's a double header of laughs on Friday. So Steve Gillespie is a Wisconsin native. He's been touring the nation, but on some of the big shows and some of the comedy festivals, of course. But um, he is going to be at the uh, Art. Arts, uh, Alpine Arts Center at the Riverwalk in Edwards. So come early. He'll be there from 4 to 6 p.m. You can get $1 off your drinks and $5 off paint pottery. And then also the doors will open at 6 p.m. for uh, the public. And then 6.30 is when the show will start. All right. And then later, Elsa Bohr, we're going to have Steve head over there. So Steve Gillespie, he's going to be doing two shows on Friday. Elsa Bohr is in Lion's Head at the Lion's Square Lodge. The doors are open for that at 9 p.m. And then the show will start at 9.30. Mark Masters, who puts together the Veil Comedy Show, he's going to be opening up. He's going to be there. He'll be leading the charge on this. And you can learn more about the different comedy shows they have going on all throughout the winter at locations like the Sebastian, like Moe's Barbecue down in Eagle. They do these special pop-ups like they're doing tonight. Tickets are still available on Friday, so you can go to alpineartcenter.org for more information or just simply veilcomedyshow.com, and that will give you the details as well. So that's happening. And then on Sunday, we have something fun. This is called Dine with the Dogs, and this is actually something they do with the Veil Avalanche Dogs. They're part of Veil Ski Patrol, the canine crew at Veil Ski Patrol. They do this on Sundays from 10.30 to 11.30. But on this particular Sunday, January 28th, they're gonna be doing something a little extra special. They're gonna be giving away free hot dogs and cookies. They also have Helly Hansen on hand, giving out some fun prizes like backpacks and maybe even some clothing, maybe a base layer or something. And then they're gonna have a few more dogs on hand as well. So the dogs and their handlers are gonna be out there doing drills. This will be at the top of chair four, the Mountain Top Express at Henry's Hut. And Henry's Hut is right across from the Buffalo's um, the restaurant. And so get there, have your lunch a little early, 10.30 to 11.30 once again. And this is a special event. Um, normally, once again, they do this every Sunday, but this Sunday they're having the hot dogs, the prizes, and all that so it should be pretty awesome also on sunday who's gonna go to the super bowl well it will be decided by sunday night because in the afternoon we're gonna have the chiefs playing baltimore uh the ravens at one and then we've got the 49ers playing the detroit lions at 4 30. so you can either get off the hill a little early if you're a big chiefs or a baltimore ravens fan at uh, the kachina is going to be having drink specials and fun things going on so check it out they're going to be doing this on sunday for you both games will have all sorts of things going on but uh there's a lot of different places where you can watch these games with whether it's sea bar here up at beaver creek or maybe you want to go down to bob's place in avon e-town and edwards uh the red lion lots of places are going to be having these games on and once again we will be deciding who's going to win the afc the nfc championship and then who will go on at the super bowl which will be on sunday february 11th so it should be pretty awesome but that's kind of a look at a few things happening friday saturday and sunday over in Vail. when we come back we're going to check out what's happening at beaver creek <laughs> We're hanging out in the sound and lighting booth at the Villar Performing Arts Center. Joining us now, we have Cameron Morgan. He's their executive director. And Cameron, more big shows coming to the stage. In fact, Momix is returning. And that's always such a treat. Absolutely. It's such a dynamic dance company. They, they really transcend dance, pulling in acrobatics, gymnastics, and so many other really exciting elements of movement. Uh, but they're here bringing their, their version of Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Alice. Going to be fun for the whole family and really, really exciting with lighting and really production elements and lots of, lots of really 
interesting and different things that you might not expect when you come to a dance show. Yeah, so you'll know the story, the familiar Alice in Wonderland, but the way they're going to be telling it and kind of, you know, the translating it is going to be something brand new. Oh, and the costumes, the lighting, the sound, the movement, the choreography. It's, it's going to be a spectacle, and I hope folks will join us for it. Okay, and that is going to be on Sunday, January 28th. There's special student pricing for this. There is special student pricing. It's part of our pick three, five, or eight show package, but it's also part of our four-pack okay. ticket package. So if you've got you, know, you and three friends or you and your family, we've got a special pricing for, for seats, uh, seat selections of four. Okay, all right. So that is going to be Momix uh, showing Alice as part of uh, more of the dance series. But back to the concert series, we've got many more artists coming, and Lee Bryce is going to be here, another country music performer. Yes, Lee Bryce and his Me and My Guitar Tour, kicking off the month of February for us, huge country star. Uh, you'll know a lot of those songs, but it's just really a soulful, virtuoso voice yeah. guitar. Well, really he, incredible. You know, he really utilizes that power of storytelling that you find so much in the country music genre. You know, whether it's um, I Drive Your Truck, I Don't Dance, you know, he, this is going to be a great show. That'll be on Thursday, February 1st. And then the day after that, Friday, February 2nd, Rachel and Bill Ray. Tell That's us right. about this duo. That's right. So you're, you're getting a lot, of, a lot of shows back to back to back. So I hope <laughs> folks will come to as many of those as you can because I mean, lots of fun every evening. But Rachel Rachel and Bill Ray. Rachel, Rachel Price, the lead singer, lead vocalist of Lake Street Dive. You know them as the yeah. pop indie band sensation. Uh, so a lot of folks that are familiar with that group will love Rachel and her sound. Partnered with, with her, her guitarist, songwriter, and singer companion, Bill Ray. A very special evening. Really pulling, pulling the, the eras back a little bit. Yeah. You know, it, coming from their indie pop kind of sound with Lake Street mm -hmm. Dive, Lake Street Dive, into the 30s and 40s. A yeah. so little Peggy Lee, a little bit of uh, some some soulfulness. Uh, Tim Van Alley. That's right, the, that's right. The 1930s, 1940s, and you know, what's really cool is they met at, um, as students at the New England Con uh, Conservatory of Music. So they've known each other for a long time, really uh, performed the love songs. Yes, yes, know. and and they've got a just tremendous uh, relationship on stage. Okay. You can really see it come through to the audience so they'll be, they'll be having a lot of storytelling and some anecdotes but really sharing their sound and the music that they really love to sing okay. and you'll feel that come through in the, the month of love of February. Just in time for Valentine's Day so yes they'll be Friday February 2nd once again and you want to get tickets for any of these shows and you do sell out I mean you're about a 530 seat theater but it's amazing how quickly those tickets go. Absolutely you don't want to miss out so go ahead and jump on our website pilarpac.org check out these shows shows and so many more this winter for you all to enjoy. Okay. Get your tickets quick and we'll see you here at the VPAC. Okay, thanks Cameron. So great to see our good friend Cameron at the Villar Performing Arts Center. He's their new executive director and of course he used to be on our show so we're happy to have him doing so well over at the BPAC but what an exciting uh, event that they have going on on Sunday night. So going back to that moment, Moments is a, a dance company that's been around for a little over 40 years now and uh, their artistic director just is it does such a great job. He does a lot of things in, in opera, in television, in film. Momix has been featured on an IMAX movie, as well as many different recordings that can be seen from around the world. And to have them come back to the Valar is just amazing. And even though this is part of their dance program, you don't have to be a big ballet aficionado or, or a dance fan to love this because the pure athleticism and the illusion, and they basically are using lighting, props, costumes, and the human body to really explore this. So this is going on, it's called Alice. So it's based loosely off of Lewis Keller, Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, but it should be a lot of fun. There's special student pricing for this too. So a student ticket for anyone 22 years and younger is $32. And it's also part of the ticket four pack. 
So if you buy all four tickets, you're going to get them for $170. And if you plan on seeing some more shows this winter, it's part of the pick three, five, or eight. Pick three shows, five shows, or eight shows, and you're going to get a discount on those shows. So take a look at that Bellar calendar and see if you want to see some more shows. And uh, just with some of the things that are going on, especially with Lee Bryce playing next week, he'll be on February 1st on Thursday at 7 p.m. Opening up for him will be Rebecca Lynn Howard. And then we, that kind of reserve seating starts for that at $99.50. Uh, but you know those songs. Wow. If you're a big Lee Bryce fan, come and see him at the bar. Very intimate performance. And then we have Rachel and Bill Ray coming after that the very next night. And then that's not it. We've got a ton more happening at the Villar. So check out VillarPAC.org. It is showtime in the mountains. And this theater is located underneath the Black Family Ice Rink in the plaza level of Beaver Creek. But also down in that plaza level, we have a lot of things happening on a weekly basis. So whether it's Helmet Fricker coming to sing some tunes and play his accordion and yodel a little bit for you. We also have Ken Carpenter doing caricatures. That's more towards the weekend. So check him out. He'll be at a special tent right there by the ice rink and he'll draw you, your family. It's always a lot of fun to see his perspective of you as a caricature. And then the Fossil Posse Dinosaur Adventures. That'll be on Saturday at 4.30. All part of kind of the fun fest that goes on or they have carnival games and prizes the kids can win. And then you've got ice skating that happens every day of the week you can rent skates right there if you have your own skates just go in sign the waiver and then you'll be able to enjoy some just skating it's amazing kids how long they can last they can ski all day and then they still hang out and that ice rink all night so i don't know where they get the energy but uh they are full of it but a few more things happening down in avon agave a great music venue most people think agave is just a mexican food restaurant but they have a really cool setup for how you can see bands how you can dance you can enjoy them gutter mouth or orange county is coming out so they're a fun fun band a little punk rock action 10 p.m is when the show is going to start it's going to go all the way to 1 a.m you can go to avon's website to get some more details on what is going to be happening in avon and that'll be on saturday night and then earth keepers this is a program for the kiddos so for kids that want to explore the natural world walking mountains which has their campus in avon they do this and it's just a, a real cool way to get kids interested in being outdoors and, and science and they're having a lot of fun, but they're actually learning along the way. So walkingmountains.org is where you can find out more information about these programs and when they occur and also some different hikes that they do, some of the free uh, tours that they do on campus or some of the tours that they offer up on Vail Mountain at the Nature Discovery Center. So that's a few things that are going on, but are you going to cozy up in the condo? Are you going to make some food at home? You got a big group? You going to have a party? Well, let's let you know what's happening with our Dine and Drink segment. Spaghetti sauce in itself is pretty healthy, but if you want it to be even healthier, make it yourself. Here to tell us how to do that, we have Allie Stevens. She's with Seasoned to Taste. And Allie, I, I just easily grabbed the jar from the right. grocery store, from the fridge, but you can have this at home. You can freeze the leftovers. Right, so it's so easy to grab the bottle, but it's so easy to make homemade marinara. In the summer, you can take fresh picked tomatoes, add some onion and garlic, maybe some basil and you've got a good sauce. So well, and then you don't have the preservatives, you don't right. have the added sugars. Yes. We've sauteed some onion and garlic here. And then we're just going to add in um, some canned crushed tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes. And then we have just some tomato sauce as well. And then tomato paste. And all this would typically be done on the stove. The onion and garlic has already been sauteed. And then we'll add this back on. 
once they mix it all in there. And I have a secret ingredient for you guys later. Okay, yes. good. We're getting secrets. Today. All right. So um, we do have brown sugar here. Feel free to leave it out. It's not needed because this is going to develop flavor throughout the cooking process. Uh, two secret ingredients. This is some fresh chopped kale and spinach. So try to keep it pretty small. Otherwise, you'll have wilted spinach in there. But it's a good way to add those extra veggies that no one will notice, but yeah. your body will. And then some seasonings of your choice. Um, today I have some fennel seed mm -hmm. and then some Italian seasoning there. So again, just to your liking, season to taste. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then some salt and pepper. And our secret ingredient is the Parmesan rind. So oh, don't wow. toss these. Yes, it adds an extra layer of depth and umami to your sauce that you can't get from anything else. It won't melt. It'll just soften up and lend that flavor to okay. deepen the, the sauce. And then you just take it out. Yep, you'll just take you it out. It. It'll easily come out because okay. it won't melt. And oh. just throw a little bit of wine. It um, doesn't, doesn't have to be anything fancy, but something that you might enjoy drinking afterwards okay. too to enjoy with your meal. All right. So, so now we're going to put this back on the stove yes. and then how long do you have to let it be on the stove top? Yes. So if you're going to eat it that day, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, let all those flavors meld together. And then if you're going to use it the next day or in a lasagna, then um, 20 minutes. Okay. Once again, if you want pasta sauce that's a bit more healthy and really easy to make, you can make your own. You can leave out the preservatives, leave out the sugars. Make sure you contact Allie with Season to Taste. Thanks. Thank you. All right, doesn't that look delicious? And I love when you can really make something homemade and have it be just a bit more healthy for you. But hey, look at the line behind me. They're getting ready to go. We're gonna be opening up the lips right here. Centennial Express right here at the base of um, Beaver Creek. Open till four o'clock. 8.30 is when both mountains open and then Vail stays open till 3.30 and Beaver Creek stays open till four. What can we expect weather-wise? Well, just a slight chance of some clouds and maybe a little bit of showers on your Friday. But the rest of the weekend is gonna look amazing. So for your Saturday, plenty of sunshine and a high right around the 30s. Overnight lows will be dropping down into the teens, maybe even some single digits. And then for your Sunday, a high into the 40s. And those 40s are gonna stay with us for the next couple of days. So we'll have 45 on Monday, the 40s on Tuesday, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. So after quite a bit of powder already this month, looks like we're gonna end January on a rather warm and sunny note. So get out there, enjoy it. Thanks again for watching us, Bell Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson. This show, once again, was taped with us on Friday and it's acting as our weekend edition. We'll be back with you Monday to let you know how you can start off the week and kick off the first day of February. We'll see you then.